All right, so the first thing we're going to do is uh, add. Oops. <laughs> first thing we're going to do is lose our problem. And then we're going to get it back. There we go. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is add 2 and 5 tenths. So if we're adding 2 and uh, 5 tenths, emoji zeros might be happy for us. Um, so uh, we get 2 and 5 tenths. Drop that decimal point like it's that. So 2 and 5 tenths. And then we can just like cross this out a little bit. And now we have 2 tenths times 2 and 5 tenths. And we have not used the 5 and 5 tenths or the subtraction sign. All right, so 2 tenths times 2 and 5 tenths. 2 and 5 tenths times 2 tenths. 2 times 5 is 10. Carry the 1. 2 times 2 is 4. Plus 1 is 5. We have two decimal places in our problem. So we need two decimal places in our solution. So that's actually, and um, we could actually take away one of those in a second. So um, we have 50 hundredths. So this is 5 and 5 tenths minus 50 hundredths. Remember, 50 hundredths is the same thing as 5 tenths. So 5 and 5 tenths minus 5 tenths is 5. Here's the math to that. 5 and 5 tenths minus 5 tenths is 5. Because 5 minus 5 is 0. And 5 minus nothing is 5. Drop that decimal point. So once again, we have simplified our expression. And by putting parentheses around the 2 and the 5 tenths, that allowed us to get the answer 5. Now, if we put the parentheses somewhere else, we got a different answer. If we would not have used the parentheses at all, we still would have got a different answer as well, because our first step would have been 2 tenths times 2, which would have started us with 4 tenths which is not what we were doing. So um, if you have time, you could always do it without the parentheses in that place and see how different your answer was. All right, let's check out the next one. I think there's one more, I believe. I believe. Oops. Oh, man. Spoiler alert. Okay, so <laughs> where can we place the parentheses to make the expression simplify to 23 and 5 tenths? All right, so um, you already saw. But... <laughs> we we obviously know that we wouldn't put the parentheses, like, for instance, just some things to think about. We're probably not going to put them there because that's already our first step. That's multiplication, right? So basically that would leave you kind of two places where you might leave or put the parentheses right there. Could be first if you wanted, or perhaps right there. That's the other one that could be first. So let's see. Go ahead and place your parentheses where you think to make the answer 23 and 5 tenths, um, keep in mind over here we're multiplying by 5. That might be another good indicator that we need to put our parentheses somewhere else. Right now, 3 and 2 tenths times 5 is about 15. So we're going to need way more to get 23 and 5 tenths. So if you said, or you thought, or you saw the spoiler, <laughs> and you want to put the parentheses between or around 1 and 8 tenths plus 3 and 2 tenths, you'd be absolutely correct. Because, check this out, we need to make a big enough number to get almost to, or over 23 and 5 tenths if we're going to be subtracting at the end and getting this number 23 and 5 tenths. So the first thing we want to do is add together 8 tenths and 2 tenths. 1 plus 1 plus 3 is 5. Drop that decimal point like it's hot. Now we have the number 5 times 5 minus 1 and 5 tenths. Now, does this make more sense why our answer might be 23 and 5 tenths? Remember, because this multiplication symbol is right here, we can get rid of the parentheses. If that multiplication symbol wasn't right there, um, it would be really hard to do this problem, first of all. But also, um, you'd keep the parentheses on. That way, you'd know to multiply. So 5 times 5 is 25. So we have 25 minus 1 and 5 tenths. And then 25 minus 1 and 5 tenths. I bet you can guess what it is, but we're going to go ahead and do it anyway. Add that emoji zero to make this easier to do. All right, so we're going to borrow. 10 minus 5 is 5. 4 minus 1 is 3. 2 minus nothing is 2. Drop that decimal point like it's hot. There we go. 23 and 5 tenths. So we found it. Yay, us. Hooray. We're at the end. Congratulations on grouping symbols. We'll return to do this tomorrow with some more, maybe two levels even. Whee! See you then. Bye!